Hey, what's up, people? I'm Saro Bajaj, and you are with me in my YouTube channel. And in this real quick video, we are gonna take a look at some of the tips and tricks available for your iPhones running iOS 6. So, let's get started with the video. The first tip is that whenever you are surfing in Safari or even in Instagram, this even works for Instagram, and you're scrolling down and you and you wanna go all the way to the top of the page. So instead of scrolling all the way to the top, what you can do is click on the date and it is gonna take you to the top of the page. The next tip is that if you don't want your phone to get into landscape mode when you turn it sideways, what you can do is double click on the home button and slide to the right and click on this icon and now your phone is gonna get locked in portrait mode you see and you will even have this little icon there which tells that the orientation lock is on my next step is gonna be how to add this emoji keyboard on your iPhone what you need to do is go to setting head over to general get into keyboards and what you need to do is click on add new key keyboard and from there you can simply add emoji keyboard so right there you have this keyboard added now whenever you you want to use it you just click on this globe icon and you are greeted with this emoji keyboard next step is how to save pictures while surfing in safari so if you find a picture and you want to save it what you can do is long click on the picture until this menu pops up and you can click on save image and it is going to save your image directly to the camera roll. The next step is how to get the music player in the lock screen. So unlock your home screen and double click on the home button and there you have it. Just click on the play button and it's going to start playing the song. You see, you can change the songs, you can pause them, you can change the volume and do all that stuff that you do in your default music player. Next step is going to make the swiping of screens on an iPhone really easy but it needs a bit little of practice because it's gonna use these dots down below what you need to do is click on the dots and it's gonna swipe the screen for you next step is gonna make reading your messages your memos or anything else quite easy and that is called speak selection so I'm just gonna give you a demo I click on this message and I click on speak and it speaks the message for me to activate it what you need to do is go into settings go to general head over to accessibility and click on speak selection you can just switch it on then you can even change the speaking rate slide the slider towards the right and it's gonna increase the speed slide the slider towards the left and it's gonna you know there's this turtle symbol it's gonna slow down the speed so let's just make it really fast you see it gives us a demo let me just bring it back to normal speak selection read. oh that's speak selection read selected con speak selection read selected content so there you have it speak selection my next step is for all those people you know who generally got 8 GB iPhones uh, I mean for in, in other words it's for people who generally have memory usage problems and ca cannot figure out what all apps or what all is taking their memory so what you need to do is head on to settings go to general click on usage and it's gonna load up all the apps that are taking up your internal storage according to the amount of storage that they are eating up right now you, as you can see it's asphalt 8 that's taking up my 1.4 gb followed by fifa 14 and then my music and so on so that way you can keep a track of all the apps that are taking your memory and if you require to remove some of the apps you can do that next step is again related to the safari browser the browsing experience if you want full screen and do not want the status, status bar or the settings bar at the bottom of your browser what you can do is get into landscape mode and click this icon and boom you have this full screen browser running on your iPhone the last step but of course not the least is when you long click on an app icon it's gonna jiggle now to undo the jiggle mode or to stop the jiggling of the icon you click on the home button right but instead of clicking the home button going all the way down to your phone and clicking it you can just swipe the status bar a little bit and boom 
it stops the jiggle mode. So guys these were some tips and tricks that I found useful and thought to share it with you. If you feel the same and like this video and my effort do give a thumbs up. If you got any questions, any queries, want to ask some more tips and tricks or just want to share your views about the video do comment in the comment section down below. Want to watch more videos around iOS and Android stuff you can subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you in my next video until then goodbye.